The wet bulb temperature is what meteorologists use to measure the amount of humidity in the atmosphere. It's essentially recording how much evaporation can cool the temperature. And we use wet bulb temperatures in an instrument called a hygrometer. Yes, I have one. Uh, this one's from the 60s, and a hygrometer gives you that relative humidity reading. What it does is it takes the regular air temperature or the dry temperature on the left, and the wet bulb temperature here on the right. Now, wet bulb thermometers are always covered in muslin and then soaked in water. And how quickly that water evaporates away tells you the wet bulb temperature. And the difference between the two is the relative humidity in the atmosphere. I also have one that uh, records that reading on an hourly basis. I digress. Uh, the importance of the wet bulb temperature is that it really acts like your body and your body's ability to cool down uh, through sweat. The more humidity in the environment, the slower the evaporation rate and the harder your body is to cool down. Uh, the reason why we're hearing so much more about wet bulb temperatures lately with all of the heat waves going around is it really is the humidity that is deadly. Once the wet bulb temperature exceeds the temperature of your body, then your body can't sweat and cool down in the process. Climate change is speeding up the evaporation rate, so unfortunately the likelihood of humid events around the world will continue to increase in a warming climate. So expect to hear more about wet bulb temperatures and hygrometers in the future. Johanna Wagstaff, CBC News, Vancouver.